You know, in life there's little decisions and there's big decisions. And a lot of times the little decisions are the ones that wind up becoming the big decisions. The little decisions are the habits you do every day. And I wanna talk about that in just a minute, but I wanna tell you where I'm going with this. Just last week, I was invited to a, a good friend of mine who owns a big mastermind, very successful guy, and he had a few other very successful people uh, in the pool with us. We we're all hanging out and having cocktails, and our kids were there, and he said, so this guy just met me. He just met me, and he said, hey, Glenn. He said, uh, uh, so what's your plan in 10 years? I just met the guy, and I'm a goal setter, and even I sat back and went, 10 years, I'll be 63, gosh, I'm not 100% sure, right? I just kept growing, growing. I didn't have an exact target in my mind. That's not like me. But when somebody asked me a question, I got thinking about it and said, huh. So I'm gonna challenge you right now and ask you, where will you be in five years? Where will you be in 10 years? Will real estate be part of that? If you're watching this video, odds are you're interested in real estate. Or you just like to hear me talk, which is weird. But hopefully you're invested in real estate, okay? Or, or, or interested in real estate. And I would like you to, I'd like you to ask yourself, can real estate get you there? So for me, and for many people that we train and work with and help, real estate is the vehicle to get you from where you are to where you want to go. So for me, I'm actually reevaluating where I want to be in 10 years. And what it comes down to for me is, how many doors do I want to own? How many rentals do I want to own? What's the positive cash flow every month? What does that look like, right? And I'm designing in my mind what that looks like. And then I'm asking myself, how can I? How can I get there? So I'm starting to design that. I'm gonna ask you the same question. Where do you wanna be in five years in your real estate investing business? Think about it, like really sit down. I would encourage you if you're watching this video right now to sit down and say to yourself, okay, really where do I wanna be? Like where do I really truly want to be as a real estate investor? And that's a big decision, right? Where do you wanna be? That's a big decision. We're gonna be in five years, we're gonna be in 10 years. Now I'm gonna bring it back to little decisions. If you wanna be someplace in five years, you wanna own $10 million in real estate, I don't know what your goal is, you wanna flip a thousand houses, I, you know, I don't know what your goal is, but you're gonna to have to break that goal down into yearly goals, then quarterly goals, then monthly goals, and guess what? You know what the small decision is? The daily habits. Because the daily habits are what gets you to your goal. If you have bad daily habits, you're not gonna reach your goal. I mean, you're just not. So you have to have good daily habits. Let's talk about weight loss. If you wanted to lose 20 pounds and your daily habit was to have an extra bowl of ice cream every night and not exercise, if that was your habit, would you ever reach your goal? No, because your habits are what get you to your goal. It's the same exact thing as a real estate investor. You have to ask yourself, where do I wanna be in five years? What do I, be, what do I wanna be in 10 years? Where do you want to be? And you have to break it down. So what does that look like? Let's say that in five years, you want to, have, you want to be full-time. And you have to say to yourself, so what does that look like? Well, if I want to be a full-time real estate investor, do I want to flip houses? Let's say you want to flip houses. Let's say you want to replace a $200,000 a year income. Well, you may have to flip five houses a year to do that, right? I would just be conservative. So five houses a year, what does that look like, right? How much private money do you have to have to do that? Where will you get that money from? Where will you find those deals? How much do we have to invest in marketing to get the phone ring to do that? Will you do it? Will someone else do it for you? Will you hire someone to do it? How will you find that? You have to start breaking down every single little part of the goal. If you don't break the goal down, how will you know if you're even on track to get it? But you have to know what the goal is so you can actually develop your daily habits. So if you know that you have to buy, you know, you have to buy, um, if you wanna start doing five deals a year, well, you're gonna to have to probably put out, you know, at least 20 or 30 offers to find one deal. That depends on you, it depends on your marketing, but odds are you could be up to 20 to 30 offers or houses you'll have to look at, it may not be an offer, but 20 or 30 houses you have to look at before you'll make four or five offers before you'll close on one of them. So where does your daily habit become? Well, if you have to find 20 or 30 houses, guess what your daily habit is? Look for houses, right? You have to be looking at houses. So if you know you have to buy one house, if it's five houses a year, that's one house every two months. So you know that you're gonna have to look at, let's say you have to look at 20 houses in the course of a, a few weeks or a month in order to actually buy one house. So your daily habits are, if you have a full-time job, well, I'm gonna look at three houses this weekend. I'm gonna look at five houses this weekend, right? Have those daily habits place because your daily habits is what actually creates your end goal. So as you're thinking about 
Where do I want to be in five years and 10 years? Stop dreaming. Like stop, stop blowing smoke up your own butt, right? That's really what it boils down to. And I've done it too, right? You start blowing smoke. I'll do this, I'll do that. I'll own a private jet. I'll, I'll live on the, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a billionaire. Great. Stop talking crap and just actually make a plan. Because if you don't make a plan for it, you'll never know what daily habits you have to have. The funny part is life comes down to daily habits. Everything that we have in life is a result of our daily habits. Who we are, how we look, how we feel, our shape, our just about everything comes as a result of our daily habits. Your bank account is part of your daily habits. You overspend, right? Or are you a miser? Do you save every penny? I don't, I don't know what it is for you, but your daily habits will absolutely determine your goals in the next five years and 10 years. So I encourage you to start off with a five-year goal. See what that is. You know, I would also encourage you very strongly to do something that I didn't do early on, start buying rentals. I think right now is gonna be the absolute best time to get your hands on rentals. Even though interest rates are up, so are rents, they should still justify themselves. If you get your hands on a handful of rentals, I think in the next decade, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised on what happens. So, you know, for me, I'm deciding right now from that conversation I had in the pool with that stranger who I never talked to again, I don't know if I'll ever meet him again, but that little, that one question rocked me to start thinking about, where do I want, like, what do I wanna, what, what do I wanna own? How many doors? Is it 500? Is it 5,000? Amber and I are talking about some different numbers, and if it's 5,000, that's a very different daily habit than 500, isn't it? And if my goal is to own 100, we, we, have, we have over half of that now, then the daily habits are very different than if I wanna own 500, does that make sense? So the goal, determines the daily habit. So I encourage you to first spend time to decide what you wanna do, then, then ask yourself, what are you willing to give up to get there, right? Because your daily habits, you're gonna have to give something up to get there probably, right? Right now your day is filled with something. I don't know what your day is filled with, but if you have to add a new habit in, something has to go. Now that may mean you can't watch as much TV. It may mean that you can't Take as many naps. <laughs> I'm not saying you're lazy. I'm just, I don't know what you do with your day, right? Everyone does something in 24 hours. It's up to you and up to I to determine what we want to put in that 24 hours as in the form of a habit to, to spit out the result at the end. The, the fun thing is I wrap this video up is that life really boils down to a few simple habits. You know, it, we, we become what we do. We don't become what we think about. What we think about usually creates what we do if we take action towards it, but we, we are what we do in life, right? We achieve, we, we, we achieve based on our actions. Thoughts are very, very powerful. You have to have the right kind of thought pattern, but action trumps thought every single day of the week, right? I am not my thoughts, I am what I do. That's from a great book uh, by John Gary Bishop called Unf Yourself. I won't say it here, but uh, Unf Yourself. I've read it about 15 times. And one of, the, one of the assertions is, I am not my thoughts, I am what I do. Because our thoughts can go crazy sometimes, right? So we wanna say, listen, we wanna get right back down to those daily habits. Because our habits are what will eventually form our results. So I'll close with this. Where do you wanna be in five years? Where do you wanna be in 10 years? And are you willing to sit down and make a plan to achieve it? I know I am, I hope you do too.